Good morning, Miho. Did you sleep well? I sure did. I think that might have been the best sleep I ever had. <laughs> I'm most glad to hear it. Would you like to sit down? Oh, sure. Thanks. Would you like some tea? Sure. Sugar. Yes, please. We'll have breakfast in a little while. Aspen usually comes by to help open the library, and then we eat together. That sounds nice. Does she help out because of the sunlight? My, that's astute of you. You're correct. Although I'm able to tolerate a bit of sun, I do prefer the dark. I wasn't sure if you knew I was a vampire or not. I figured it out just now. That explains how you were able to hear me and find my den, huh? Indeed. That said, I have my dear friend Orpheus to thank for helping me know where to find you. So, <laughs> no, Orpheus is a bat through and through, not a vampire. He happened to notice you on his way home one day. So that's the friend you were talking about. I was wondering about that. I have the pleasure of knowing several of Wellington's loco bats. <laughs> they keep me apprised of news from around the city. You're not like, you know. Oh, heavens no! I consume as little blood as one of my kind can, and what I do partake of is freely donated. I love this city, and its people. I'd never hurt them like that. Besides, I had quite enough of that during my time in the underworld. Is that where you come from as well? Oh, I'm not from the underworld. I'm from Korea. I've heard lots about it, though. I'm one of the only fabled I know of who doesn't come from there. For a long time, I didn't even know that other fabled existed. Indeed. Gumio, like yourself, are some of the few I know of. Wait, Gumiho? Is that what I'm called? That explains a lot. You didn't know, but you go by the name Miho. Just because I like the sound, I thought it was more like a nickname. I change it up wherever I go. Gumi, Homie, Migu. I've never had a real name. I didn't even know I had a kind. I've never met someone else like me. I wonder if we'd have much in common. Gumio in Wellington? None that I know of. It's possible, though. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'd say if I did meet one. 
That'll be Aspen. Shall we go down to breakfast? I'll never say no to that. Good morning, Aspen. It's nice to see you again. Good morning, Juliet. And you too, Miho. I must admit, I was a little worried you might run off during the night. I may have thought about it. A little. After I went to bed, though, I was out like a light. Glad you decided otherwise, then. Living in the library sounds like heaven. I can't believe you'd think about giving that up. Anyway, I'm opening today, so I can't stay too late. I'll go ahead and take care of the windows. I'll get started on breakfast, then. Would you like grape or strawberry jam? Hmm, I think I'm feeding like strawberry today. Oh, or some of that orange marmalade, if there's any left. You have to let me her try that too. I'll see if we have it. Is that a nonce you have with you? You can just leave him on the desk for now. It sure is. I'll be taking Jacques on the way out. I'll write it down. Jacks, Anonce. I don't see anyone with you. This is Anonce. He's the author of this. Juliet suggested I read some of his work, but I'm finding him rather dull. Huh. Smells great! Oh, Miho. Go ahead and take a seat if you'd like. This shouldn't take long. What you making? Fried eggs and toast, with some fresh fruit. It's what we usually have. Is that all right with you? Better than all right. I'm almost drooling just thinking about it. I hope that it lives up to expectations, then. This makes perfect, as they say, and I've had quite a lot of practice. The bats enjoy fruit as well, so I tend to keep a lot of it around the house. If there are any items you'd like me to keep around the house for you, do let me know. Oh, 
call you if I think of anything. set on my end thank you I just finished cooking too so Miho how will you be spending your first day as an official Wellington resident I don't know yet hadn't really thought about it now that you mention it I'll have a lot more free time now huh Usually, I'd go hunting for food, or looking for a better place to stay, or... Or... If it's something you don't want to share, don't feel that you must. Right, that too. No, it's okay. I've been looking for someone. Miho, it occurred to me that perhaps I should give you the proper tour of the library now. That way, you have the weekend to get better acquainted with it if you need. Tour? I think I've seen everything, right? <laughs> Pardon. I meant the, of the books themselves, where to find each genre and what they are. Oh, right. Sure. If you'd like, I can show you a couple of my favorite books. That way, if anyone asks for a recommendation, you could at least make something up. That'd be great. Let's start with the basics, shall we? As you know, this is the reference desk. It's where books are checked in and out, and where anyone who needs help can find it. What kind of help do people ask for? Usually, they need assistance finding a specific book. Or perhaps they need a recommendation for what to read next, as Aspen mentioned. Hope they like the same books as her, then. Don't worry, I'll think of some that are more popular. Not my real favorites, which most people would be too bored to finish. Over here is the children's section. It's got lots of picture books and beginner reader books. The shelves are shorter too, so that children can reach them more easily. Oh, I've seen some of those around. Are adults allowed to read them too? Of course. Parents read to their kids quite often. Some people read them for fun, too. You gain so much more appreciation for the illustrations once you're older. This is the non-fiction section. It's for books about things that are true, rather than made-up stories. I rarely visit this section, personally. This is the mystery section. Stories about detectives, murders, and other such subjects live here. I do admire mystery writers. It's difficult to come up with a compelling one. I do believe that's everything. Do you feel like you have a good understanding now? It's hard to keep them all straight. Fantasy, history, cookbooks, biographies... I think I've got most of it, though. It is a lot to take in. Don't worry if you can't memorize it all right away. There's plenty of time to learn. Even I forget where things are sometimes, and I've spent more time here than at my own apartment. Thanks! It might take me a while, but I'll get it eventually. I know you will. I have the utmost confidence in you.
Gwen, we're still on the same side here. Tommy's side, right? I know. It's just... Uh, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. Yeah. But, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. At least we were right about that. What are we supposed to tell his teacher? This is the third time he's gotten in a fight this month. Did they say if he won or not? Elijah! Sorry, sorry. Uh, why don't you talk to the school and let them know that we're dealing with it? And I can talk to T when he's back from your place next time. Fine. Maybe he'll listen to you better than he'll listen to me. Maybe. It's a shame we can't get Gerby to talk to him. anyone I don't think it's bad for him to have an imaginary friend or anything but oh that's right the other day Tommy and I ran into someone who was able to see Gerby <laughs> really who was it you know I can't remember I remember them saying it, but I can't picture that face or voice. I wish I'd gotten a name or something. So you don't actually know if they saw him or not? They just said they could. Well, technically. Maybe you're right. I wish I could think of who it was. him up. I'll let you know what the teacher says when I talk to her. All right. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Bye. I'm gonna be right here. 
remember not to go too far away, okay? I know, I know. What you doing? You're not supposed to talk so loud. We're in a library. I'm looking for spiders, though. Spiders, huh? Why? Cause they're cool. Are you collecting them? Yeah, do you like bugs too? Okay, though. Nobody does except me. Everyone thinks they're gross and creepy. But you don't. That's why I like them. Wanna help me look? Sure, why not? I think I know where some are. Whoa, really? Yeah, there's this one corner that's really dusty. my friend. You can't see him, but he's here with us. Cool. Actually, Gerby's my only friend. I met him when I was looking for a beetle. He looks like a flower, but he's not. If I do find any spiders, I have to get two so they're not alone. Especially if they're married. If they have any kids, then that would make their kids be really sad, too. Do you know where else they are? Hmm... Maybe... up front?
see it? I see it. Are you gonna catch it? Looks sort of scary. It could still be nice, but I don't know how to reach it. Maybe if we come back later, it'll be easier to get. Tommy, what are you doing down there? You're gonna get all dirty. Looking for spiders. This lady was helping me. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope you weren't too distracted. Nah, don't worry, I live here. Oh, that's convenient. Thanks for keeping him company. He doesn't have a whole lot of friends his age to play with. Meanwhile, I'm trying to study for grad school and raise a kid and work a job and get a divorce all at once. Well, not that any of that's your problem. Tommy, we need to get going. Fine. Thanks again. If you live here, I guess we'll probably see you around. I've got a lot of studying I need to do, so I'm sure we'll be back. Say bye, Tommy. Bye! If you see any cool bugs, save them for me! Will do. Bye! in the mood for a movie today, I think. Sorry, Aspen. It's fine. Maybe another time. Yeah, definitely. So, you're not
not gonna go to sleep yet? It's the time you usually do, right? It is, yes. As I said, I won't be up too much longer. But I have a few tasks that I'd like to finish up. Like what? Anything I can help with? I'm afraid not. Although I appreciate it. It's for my research services. You're welcome to keep me company, though, if you'd like. Sure! I forget you do that sometimes. I tend to work on it at night, after you've gone to sleep. Come, let's head to my study. noticed how many books there are in here. Some of them are old and fragile, and not suited to be handled by so many people. Others travel between the shelves down there, and up here as I need them. Some aren't books per se, but essays, or diaries, or treaties. Heavens no. I don't think even I've been alive long enough for that. I've read some, of course. Others I've only skimmed through as needed. Still, others were entrusted to me for safekeeping, rather than for their academic or entertainment value. Sounds like a lot of work. It can be. There have been fewer requests as of late, but I'm honored to be entrusted with them. Whether it's a family photo album or a handwritten novel, many people have memories and legacies that they'd like to preserve, but may not have the means to do so. So I hold on to them here, and over time, generations even, they are sometimes remembered and asked about or even taken back, either by the person who first brought them, or by a family member seeking to learn more about an ancestor. There are hundreds of years of history in this room, and I'm not just talking about you and me. Exactly is it you do. Come here, I'll show you. This gentleman passed away several decades ago. Recently, I was contacted by one of his grandchildren who was still young when it happened. He said that his grandfather once made it into one of the Wellington newspapers and was hoping I could find the article. Did you? See for yourself.
he had taken first prize in a singing competition at a local fair, and his picture was featured along with the summary of the event. believe you're able to find this I hear that rather frequently and it's rewarding every time in this case I've already scanned the article and sent it to the grandson so now I just need to return this paper to its proper place this one was on the simpler side because all I had to do was peruse newspapers from that time more complex requests that require consulting multiple sources can take me much longer. Jeez, I had no idea. They must pay you a lot, right? <laughs> no, no. I don't ask for any payment. The work itself is a reward in its own right. I find it fascinating to revisit so many different pasts. That sounds like Aspen talking about books. Visiting other worlds. Yes, it's quite similar. Although Aspen much prefers fiction and novels to this sort of thing. Maybe someday you can have a copy of her book in here too. Yes, I hope so. Although it would deserve to be downstairs where it can be freely enjoyed by all. Oh, that'd be nice. I hope lots of people read it when it comes out. Are you leaving? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't been a very good host. It's fine. I can tell you're really busy. Thanks for showing me everything, though. Of course. Thank you for joining me. Anytime. You're gonna go to bed after this, right? So, I'll see you later then. That's right. Have a great day, Miho. You too. Good night and good luck with your work. <laughs>